Hi, my name is Andres Quintero and today I will tell you about the Sony a 7 IV. I will tell you about the Sony a 7 IV. Ergonomics, performance for video and photography, battery life and overheating problems. Let's go! So, the ergonomics of the camera are really good. Um, you can grab it very well, you never feel like it's going to fall or anything. And also the pinky finger is on the, on the grab of the camera. It's, you can hold it with this pinky finger too. Uh, as I know with the older models, it was not possible with a 7 III or so. Uh, another thing that I like is that it has a lot of buttons. Um, I think there are four. There are four buttons that you can configure with whatever you want. It's really malleable. It's uh, really, you can make it really personal. I like that very much. So another stuff about ergonomics is that this camera has a flip screen and it's very practical if you're recording yourself like I'm doing right now or if you are doing vertical photos from the button or if you're in any position actually like it really it really make making photography flexible i like this kind of screen very much and it's also very bright you can program also a button for sunny weather like right now and when you press it then you can see very clearly on the sunlight. I find it very, very practical. Uh, by other hand, the camera is really good hybrid camera, so you can do very good videos and very good photos. For me, it was like the perfect spot for, for the camera I needed. Um, it has 33 megapixels, and yeah, I think that's more than enough for me and I can cut the photos as much as I require. It's very good, actually. And for making videos, um, I like very much to make the videos in S-Log3 because after I can colorize the videos, change the detail, the saturation. It's, it's similar to edit a row, but just in video. So it's, it's really good, I like it very much. Uh, while being here in Expo 2020, I have been doing videos, photos, and so far the battery life has been decent enough. Like I can use the camera the whole day without charging it or changing the batteries. So I find it very good so far. Um, what else can I tell you? Yeah, if you're going to do photos and video, most probably you will need to buy several batteries. Because, uh, yeah, if you do only photography, you may be able to do photos for a whole day when you turn on and off the camera. But it's also risky if it's something important. It's better to have extra batteries. Ah, and about the camera heating. I have no idea why. I've been in Dubai for more than a week, and so far it has never been too hot. It makes the videos without problem. Uh, but sometimes in Germany, like in my living room in winter, after five minutes it got this uh, warm icon. But I have no idea what is the reason for that. So far from here, it has been doing it great. So I really, I really cannot say what's the reason for that. Hmm. And I forgot something about the autofocus. When you are against the light, the autofocus have difficulties for doing it. If the object, if the Let's say it's a human, it's close to the camera, then it's fine. But if you're a bit far away, you have to help the camera a little bit to say, hey, I want to focus on this point. Also, if it's very, very dark, it will be also a bit difficult. But from all the cameras I have tested, so far this one is the best autofocus. Uh, yeah, let me know if there is a better one than this one, but I cannot complain. I can really focus on the composition, and don't have to think much about focusing. When I open them in the computer, they are pretty good. So, I will leave you with this, and see you in the next one.